These things are kind of tricky. Shh. Excuse me. You know you're being followed? Yes, I saw you downstairs. Oh, no. I, I didn't mean me. Uh, I meant him. Hey, wait a minute. That's your purse. Uh, wait. of you across the room and time stopped mm -hmm. and in that moment I knew you were my destiny how about uh, call me Ishmael you two are in big trouble I'm really sorry that you tore up your library card Ishmael no Sean Sean. Sean McDonald. I wish you would have taken it out of the wallet first. <laughs> I want to thank you for what you did up there. I mean, most guys would have just looked the other way. If I timed that leap just a little bit better, it would have really impressed you. Oh, I was impressed. Really? Yeah. Well, this uh, macho stuff is kind of exhilarating, you know. You know the sort of a Charles Bronson eagle old Oh, I do, and it's most becoming. Have you had lunch? Lunch? It's about six. Oh, my God, my boss is going to shoot me. Yo, my boss is going to shoot me routine, huh? No. No, it's not. I want you to call me. I, I know this is kind of formal, but here's my card. Maybe I could take you to lunch, or... I don't know, a, a library? <laughs> oh, a travel agent. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a coincidence because I, um, I own luggage. <laughs> no call. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. I, you wouldn't forget her or anything. You're going to buy me lunch, aren't you? I won't forget. Constra. 
travel, can you hold please? Hands travel, can you hold please? Hands travel, can you hold please? Oh, thank God. This Ken's got me tracking you down everywhere. Okay. Oh, finally. How'd it go? Mm, okay. That okay doesn't sound so okay. You want to take a gander at these before I send them over to state? No, thanks. It's a very imaginative approach to foreign policy. Mm, if I do say so myself. Doris, I'm that guy at the library. Is that the whole story? Well, he, uh, he thought that my purse was being robbed and he came to my rescue. <laughs> he even tackled Dorfman. Oh, my God. Well, he didn't tackle him very well. You don't think it was some twit from the CIA checking up on us, do you? No, no, no. I, I'd know it if he was. You know, it was... It was really very sweet. What? The, the guy uh, who tackled Dorfman. Hi. Hi. Tomorrow's too late. Immediately would be better. How immediate? I'd say dinner, but you make me too nervous to eat. <laughs> me? This usually doesn't happen to me. You are so beautiful. Well, it's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. Well, I'm flattered. I flatter you. I protect you. I think something's developing here. Marry me. Oh, I, I don't think it's fully developed. Yeah, probably rushing things a little too much. Are you too nervous to have a drink? I'm just nervous enough to have a drink. We'll do the marriage thing some other time. What's your Wednesday night? Do you, Sean McDonald, take Chris Nelson for your lawful wife? To heaven to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. I do. They know each other for five weeks and they get married. It's insane. Hey, I'm with you, sir. In fact, I told Sean, hey, why don't you live with her for a couple of years? You know, test the waters. I do. Anyone here knows of any reason why these two should not be joined together in holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> oh. I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Congratulations to new beginnings. Mm. There it is. I'll trade you. Honeymoon retirement gift. Europe, first class, two weeks. From all of us. Doris, I, I, I know, I know. You don't know what to say. You'll miss me. Miss the good times we had. Doris, um, I haven't said anything to Sean, but you I'm going to. You know the rules. We don't exist. As far as Sean is concerned, you're nothing but a travel agent. I know. I know. And a very good one. I'm going to miss you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to keep this? Came in real handy in my first marriage. Llegará a Madrid 
de Washington DC a la puerta número 12. American Airlines flight number 59 arriving Madrid from Washington DC at gate 12. Why do I feel like I've got eight kilos of heroin in here? The worst thing I've got in here is socks with bad elastic. Ooh. It would have eventually come out. It's not a very good likeness. I had recently worn a hat. You know. All passengers on the Come with me, please. Is there a problem? No problem. Come with me, please. Yes. Sit down, miss. Passport. Gracias. Guess who? How did you know it was me? What are you doing here? I think you dislocated my liver. Alex, what are you doing here? Please don't shout, darling. I had to do that awful embassy party thing all night long, and I have a terrible headache. I don't like you being here. I smell a rat. Did it occur to you that I might just be here to congratulate you? No. So you know me, big deal. You need a small favor. Wait a minute. This whole honeymoon thing? It's a setup. Well, now we know why I'm here. I'm an idiot. Well, I must admit, darling, I wouldn't have fallen for it. Anyway, Lazos is back, and he trusts only you. Lazos? He has something we want, my dear. Just give us an hour. Meet him, pay him, and pass the merchandise on to me. No, 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 no. I am retired. I'm on my honeymoon. May I suggest you look in your suitcase before your husband? What? Since you will be changing your mind, Chris, I've arranged for a million dollars in payoff money to be slipped into your bag. Right about now. Where have you been? What's going on? Oh, it's just... The ticket. The ticket was in my married name, and the passport was in my maiden name, and they get so easily confused. Are you all right? Oh, are you kidding? You read my article on the Alou brothers. Where are they now? Oh, he loves me. As do all the Spanish people. He works here. <laughs> Where's the luggage? Oh, Bellhop took it. Chris, hey, what's wrong? You're gonna check our luggage again? <laughs> no, I just wanted to get something out of my suitcase. We'll do it later, huh? Later. After we check in. <laughs> Can we have the 
bag sent up immediately. Yes, of course. <laughs> Is this some sort of luggage fetish thing that I ought to know about? No. We will show you to your room, and your bags are on the way out. Have you found my luggage yet? Or do you just have some new excuse? <laughs> no, no, no. Poor favor, poor, 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 poor. No, don't, 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 don't put me Please, I, I, I don't want to hear any more of that music. Look, just... Let me speak to the manager, El Jefe. I, uh, I have been waiting. I, I have been waiting for five minutes. I, I, I don't want to wait anymore. I just want my luggage. Hey, I thought you were going to slip into a little nothing and join me in the bathroom. Wait, the bag's not here. There is nothing to slip into. Uh, mm. That could be them. Uh, that could be them. Hold on. Huh. Fine. Yeah, listen, you can just put them down uh, right in the middle of the room. Uh, I don't have any. I'll catch you later. I promise. They're here. Ah, uh, uh, they're here. They're here. They're here. Can we start our honeymoon now? Um, I'll be right back and we can practice that. Hey, the water is getting cold and the champagne's getting warm. I'll be right back. What? Chris? 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 Oh, shit. Excuse me. Uh, could you help me out here? Uh, por favor, limpiar el cuarto. you later. I promise. Ah, oh, dear Chris, I'm afraid you've backed me into a corner. Now I have no choice but to get tough with you. Now you listen to me. The money is in a small tan suitcase. You want it, you help me find it. How could you put it in my bag? How could you just assume that I would do this? I want my honeymoon, Alex. Oh, this is your problem. This is our problem. Take a look at these. Very nice. Take a good look. Can you tell the difference? No, I can't. That's exactly the point. No one can. Lazos has finally made the set of perfect counterfeit plates. How perfect? Perfect, perfect. Ruin the economy, perfect. is to get Sean and go home. Do that and two things will happen. One, I tell State that you stole the money. And two, Sean finds out about your secret past. Oof. <sighs> <sighs> 
I'm not going to take that personally. Please do. Hotel guy with the Bella Lugosi hair. You know, the, uh, the one with his tongue in your ear. <laughs> that was no hotel guy. That was uh, <laughs> Alex. Oh, good. Alex. You know, honey, Alex DeBanks, we used to work together, and we haven't seen each other for a while, and we were just catching up to see how we were. And how were we? Well, one of us was hanging naked from a stairway. You think he was impressed? Oh, I think everyone in the lobby was impressed. Hmm. But especially me. starting to irritate me. Snack, open it. Guess who? <laughs> Sean, meet Alex DeBanes. Yes. Sean, dressed. Very nice. I'm sure Chris has told you all about me. Enough. Chris, that favor I asked you for simply must be taken care of tomorrow, darling. A favor? Just a tour mix-up, the kind of thing that Chris is so good at straightening. <laughs> Chris is on her honeymoon. Chris is retired. But surely you can spare her for a few hours to help us out now, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be the bad guy. If it's something you have to do, it's okay with me. Then it's settled. Para finalizar y para que todos ustedes puedan bailar, vamos a interpretar un tango. God, how I love the tango. It's such a provocative, sexually stimulating, virtually pulsating passion. Do you mind if I dance with your wife? Would you relax? Or would you rather have this discussion in front of Sean? Vente conmigo y será Capitana de mi barco Yo me iré sin rumbo fijo Donde me iré Do you want to go to the fiesta in Denia? You'll find Razos there. I'm a caballero, right? 
so... Well, I'm sorry, you guys are in the wrong room. Espera un momento. Eh, yo soy un caballero, ¿verdad? Creo que se ha equivocado de baño. <risa> Deja de hacer el idiota. Tenemos mucho de qué hablar. <risa> Don't play the idiot. We have much to discuss. Well, uh, I'm not playing. <risa> no estoy jugando. Mm, eres muy atractivo. Mejor. Esto no tiene por qué ser una relación exclusivamente de negocios. I find you very attractive. Mm, better. It need not to be just a business relationship. Mm. Uh, I think it should because uh, because my wife finds me attractive too. Creo que es porque mi mujer también me encuentra muy atractivo. Monito, deja de decir tonterías. Sweetheart, chop the charade. Mm. Tú y yo somos profesionales y los dos queremos esas planchas. We're both professional and we both want the plates. Plates. Oh, the plates? Oh. Uh, I, I tell you what, why don't you just keep them, huh? It was nice talking with you, but I gotta go now. Le vamos a dejar sin nada, Vesira. We lay with nothing, you wretched. Pig! Cerdo! Careful there, pal, it's dangerous. What? He said to hurry because he's in great pain. Because I'm a fat, brainless putz. Please, please hurry. Please. Oh. Do I stand around gaping at you? I don't think so. trying to kill your tie? I'm disciplining it. It's Alex, right? Maybe it's a whole other culture I have to get used to. Two women do a WrestleMania number on me in a men's room. And some clown with a case of 1040 oil in his hair tries to seduce my wife. Alex, seduce me? Oh, come on, Sean. You actually sound jealous. Maybe it's because I... I am jealous. You don't need to be jealous of anyone, especially not Alex. Yeah, well... How about the way he was dancing with you? Alex not a very good dancer. Well, what about that favor tomorrow? You're the one who said, go ahead, do the favor. It was jet lag talking. Oh, honey, I don't want to fight, especially not about Alex. Sorry, my head must have slipped. You know, my elbow still hurts. My well, elbow hurts. Yeah. How do you think my entire head feels, you moron? Huh? Thank you. 
Why you gotta go with you this morning? Uh, honey, it's it's business and it's boring. I I left a list of some museums that you might want to see around here. I want to go to museums alone. Hey, lady, I'm here minding my own. I won't know when to be impressed. Just ooh and ooh after ooh. every other painting. What? What? Your shoe. Your hair dryer just tried to kill me. I'm sorry. Who sent you? That's a secret I'll take to my grave. Marlis. Who's Marlis? You look absolutely delicious this morning, my dear. There's a definite robust sexual blush to your cheeks. Oh, yes. Marlis. He's a lowlife. Probably wants to give the place to a foreign dictator. You know, Lazarus will want to see the money. Not to worry. You'll show him this. Lazarus trusts you. You'll think the money's in here. And when Lazarus finds out there's nothing but paper in here, then what? Then we try reason and ask for time. But if we don't make this appointment, Lazarus may try to do business with someone else. Great plan. I never said it was a plan, darling. Uh, follow that car? That car? Follow it? Uh, Como Miami Vice? Ah, see! Sí. <laughs> Buena esta, esta para hacer patatas y bacalao para llevar baratas. Yeah. Solo 500, 500 que vale. Nada más 500. Buena, buena. 500, 500.
I was just looking for some of those mini fork things to hold corn with. Actually, I was worried about you. I don't trust a guy with a varnished head. Look, you stay here, and I'll be right back. And then I'm going to tell you everything. Gave me a heart attack. But you are young and you're strong. You can take it. <laughs> <laughs> you never learn, do you? <laughs> you fell for that one seven years ago. I keep thinking that you'll grow up. Whatever for? I can't avoid growing old, but I can resist ferociously growing up. My dear Lazarus, you... I saw you with a young man up there just now. Oh, that's Sean. He's, he's my husband. Oh. He doesn't know anything about this. I'm retired. It's you who got me into this. Me? Yes, you. But, 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 but who, who, who could I trust? I mean, you remember, the, the last time I dealt with your government, they threw me into jail. Of course, there was a delicious irony in all this, because during my holiday, it gave me ample time to perfect my masterpiece. You know, there's a lot of other people chasing after these plates. I know, I know, but they'll never find them. They're very well hidden. Why didn't you just... Print up a couple of billion for yourself. Well, where would be the fun in that? I mean, I would never get to see your people squirm at the thought that I was selling them to their enemies for 20 times the price. And I could have done, you know. Oh, yes, I could. But then this was never about money, was it? I'm glad to hear that because we have a slight problem. <laughs> I'd say things have gone a tad awry. You and Sean ought to get to Lapara. Wait for me there, I'll get you out. If anything should happen to Sean. Look, you'll be safe, okay? I'll call Mrs. Kent and tell her that you're out of it. Oh, no, thanks. I already have the whole set. Oh, there you go. Don't say... Toilet. What? Is, is that dollars or pesetas? Uh... Okay, okay, fine. Sold! Basilica. Bas Basilica. Don't, don't.
Don't we know what? Whoa! She's terrific. Are you okay? I can't hear you. My nuts are clogging my ears. package your friends fixed us up with. I guess you'll have to steal another motorcycle. When they said till death to us part, I didn't think they meant the first week. Sean, I'm going to explain everything. But right now, we've got to keep moving. No. Not going anywhere until I find out what the hell is going on here. Okay. The travel agency. It isn't just a travel agency. And I wasn't just a travel agent. Yeah? We're run by the State Department. We do different errands for different government agencies. Sort of like a like a like a courier service. A courier service? Yeah, yeah. We we deal with blackmailers and ransom demands. You know, uh, we, we do tricky stuff that I don't, they don't want to be taught doing. <laughs> well, this is a, a little tidbit of personal info that you might have shared with me. Sean, I wanted to tell you. I couldn't. My job was classified. Nobody knew, not my parents, my friends. Your husband? Watch your stern. What did he say? He said to leave me, I'm worthless. Come on. Is this one of those evil twin deals? I mean, have you got some some dungeon in, in Washington where Chris is tied up? This is no evil twin deal. You have no idea where we're heading, do you? Yes, I do. We're going to La Para, to a safe house. The Baines will meet us. He got us into this. He's going to get us out of it. We're counting on him? We did meet. I'd like to suggest we find an alternate route. Over there. I 
I can nail a butterfly at a hundred paces. Yeah, I bet he'd enjoy it too. Please, I want no hostility here, and no harm's going to come to you. Marshals gave you something at the Rastro. I simply want it. He didn't give me anything. I'm not talking to you, lady. I'm talking to him. This? You're shooting at us for this? I'm shooting at them for that? Wait a minute. It's a clue to where Lazo's hid a set of perfect counterfeit plates. Oh, perfect counterfeit plates. Excuse me, but I believe I'm the one conducting this meeting here. You either give me that thing, or I'm going to have my vice president of public relations here plant some lead in your head. Hey, uh, now, wait a minute, pal. Do you want it? Down in the woods today, you'd better not go alone. You go out in the woods today, be sure to go in disguise. If you go out in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. We're totally fucking lost. Cause every day, the day the tailor. <laughs> Sean? Oh, God, Sean, are you okay? Oh, I'm having a blast. Now, get me down. Sean, I'm going to let you down, but first of all, I have something I want to say. Well, you got about 90 seconds until my head explodes. I don't think you're being fair to me. Or to us. Huh? How? Oh. How am I not being fair? Uh, I suppose... I suppose you don't have any secrets, any skeletons in your closet. Well, yeah. But the Henshaw sisters aren't going to kill us. Oh, Sean. Sean, do you actually believe that I wanted to lie to you? Do you actually believe that I would do anything to harm you? I quit my job so we could lead a normal life. So how'd we end up like this? She said if I didn't do this one last favor, I could end up a widow. I respect your decision. So you believe that I would never do anything to hurt you? This is a lot to digest. Yes, but... Especially when you're hanging upside down like this. But you believe me. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Hey. Which one is my Uh, that way, I think. Uh, I think it's over there. Ah. These things are very tricky. It, uh... <sighs> you incredible dick. Hey. 
Clarence. Clarence! So few. Mr. Curiosity, but how did you ever wind up in a job like this? I was recruited. <laughs> From what? Your college spy team? No, I was a translator at State. I thought it would be fun and generally safe. You meet such a high caliber of people. No, well, I met you. Me? What do you mean? Nothing. Oh, you meant something by that. Wait a minute. You were working that day at the library. Yes. That guy wasn't trying to steal your purse. No. Oh, man. I feel like such an idiot. You were passing him something, and I screwed it up. I screwed up some deal. Sean, no. You weren't an idiot, and, and you really didn't screw anything up. No, because I tackled his shoe. I screwed up screwing up. Possibilities for self-recrimination on this are endless. I thought it was a beautiful gesture. Stay over on your side of the fire. This is a low self-esteem moment. Well, it maybe it'd be a good idea if we didn't talk for a little while. Unless you have something important to say. I... Look out, he's got a gun. I have something important to say. Sean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I got you into all this. I, I never meant to hurt you or deceive you. No matter what happens, no matter what you think, I love you. Sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm hallucinating Norman Bates's house. Do we really want to meet the people who live here? As opposed to spending the rest of our lives with tarantulas and orangutans, I don't think we have to dwell on that. What? Do you recognize that car? Because I think I recognize that car. Sure, I recognize that car. Yeah. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Cover them. Just thing. Man! I told you we don't know. Ask Lazos. <laughs> what? He said Lazos is dead. <laughs> In a minute, you'll be able to ask him yourself.
I'd like to speak to you for a moment. As if... Well... As if you were my... recently departed wife. You bitch! Hey! 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 Oh, hey! No, 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 look, this charade has gone far enough. Now, if there's any business that's gonna be done, it'll be done with me. Shine me. Sorry, babe. The agency didn't want me to tell you. I hope you understand. We've had our eye on you for some time, Marlis. We knew we'd hook you if we put out the right bait. Now, forget her. She's a front. A diversion. Who do you think set up the Gutsman hit in Geneva? Or the Blofeld sting in Prague? Who do you think put Woe Fat to sleep in Hong Kong? You're looking at him, pal. So let the filly go and we'll talk deal. Deal? Hey, filly? That's right. Deal. The answer to that puzzle is right here. If you want it, you'll have to get it out of me. Now that's entertainment. But back to business, sweetheart. Ah! Whoa! Uh, hey, no, whoa. Basilica Dose. No, uh, Twelve. That's all I said. It was just uh, the globe and Basilica Dose. Uh, there was nothing more. That's it. It was zilch. He said, thank you very much. This time he believes you. And to kill you. Okay, okay, come on, stop that. Come on. All right, release the brake. All right, all right, gun the engine. Now put the car in drive. Dead? Yeah, me dead. I, uh, I pushed him off a cliff. Good. What, what took us so long? Long? I had to walk back. Afraid to ask you this. You don't have to be uh, almost afraid to ask me anything. Where's my car? Your car. My car. They were in it. Our Mercedes. Yeah, your Mercedes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
As long as you make it back in time, the World Series, no harm done. <laughs> uh, honey, when is the World Series? Uh, it's not until tomorrow. Oh, no problem. God, I need a bath. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? My hair looks like shredded wheat. You can carry that look off. Really? So now what? We wait for the Baines to contact us. You really think he's going to show up? No, oh, he'll show up. I actually can't believe I'm saying this, but... I think I'm going to be glad to see him. <laughs> Honey, I told you, your hair doesn't look that bad. Oh, great, he's dead. Please tell me the fall killed him. He's been shot. Service. I'm really going to be able to eat. In the closet. Help me. Din Din. You can just leave it and go. Thank you. for a hell of a tip. Romantic, isn't it? Where is it, Mr. McDonald? I know I'm going to regret asking this, but where's what? <laughs> what the hell kind of crack is that? Is something wrong with my hair? No. <laughs> it's great. Right. Lazarus gave you something. I wanted the thing. Oh, honey, uh, you remember the thing the guy gave me in the uh, place. The thing. Yeah. Oh, the thing. Yeah. The thing I put in my purse. Yeah, but I took it back from you. I put it in the car. Under the seat. Oh, I. Oh, you better show me where. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sit down now. Now, one of you had better show me, because I can get very ugly. Believe me, you're already there.
Maybe if I bought one for him. Yes. I think we lost him. in one piece? I don't know. Let me check. Who was that man? A waiter. Doris, if you hadn't just saved our lives, I'd strangle you. Oh, you're going to feel great after a hot bath and a good sleep. A hot bath, good sleep. Some business, huh? People getting killed over some shaky, flaky thing you can buy anywhere. Yeah. What? <gasps> what? You know, the uh, the the glass globe snowy thing that, yeah. that Laszlo's gave us. We saw 50 of them in a store window back then. Feeling better? Tons. Tons better. Where is this boat? Oh, any second now. A 20-minute ride to Ibiza, you're on the plane. You'll be home in time for brunch. But then again, you know, Ibiza is such a lovely island. Maybe you'd like to stay there for a while and... I guess not. Oh, I'm so sorry all this happened. <laughs> Oh, my. Chris. Mm. Now, don't get upset, but I want you to think very carefully. Do you think that Sean is holding anything back from us? Maybe because he's angry or hurt or... Or know. what? Doris, just forget about it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just keep hoping for something else. I mean, Bethilica Dothe 12, it's so vague. And the basilica is so big. It'll take us forever to find those plates. Doris. I couldn't care less. Good news. Your ride's here. This one doesn't have blanks in it. You? You and him? Doris, you, you couldn't. You wouldn't. Oh, funny. Alex thought that, too. Look, if it were up to me, I'd allow a quick death. But you angered Mr. Pitt. So he has a special pain plan for you. He has a pain plan? Why? 10, 20, 30 million dollars. The plates are perfect. No telling how high the bidding will go. Look, now you've got the plates, so we'll just walk home. I'm sorry, your loose ends. I really didn't want it to end like this. No hard feelings, Chris. Plenty of them. Uh <laughs> So I guess this is the end of your pain plan. Bingo. Yeah!
I told you, you shouldn't have pissed me off. It's here. It's too big. It's too dark. It's too, it's too wet. Excuse me. Excuse me. When you're going to finish with your bitching, we're going to search every square inch of this big, dark, cold, wet place until we find what 12 this key opens. I'm going that way. You guys go that way. Everybody's <laughs> 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 have a chance to kill us. Now what? Gotta miss some calls. State Department, local authorities. Tell them what's been going on. It's not a problem anymore. <laughs> we can go home. Oh. I don't want to go home. What? Wait, so you're kind of silly, but well, back there at the library, I kind of well, I thought I was your hero, but I wasn't. I need redemption. Sean. Oh, I'm, I mean, if your work is important to you, then it's important to me too. I want to do this. What are you talking about? Do what? Something that's good and right and not too damn selfish. Well, hell, we're in the neighborhood. Why not finish the job? Let's get to those plates before everybody else does. Sean, those people are dangerous. They tried to kill us. Yeah, sure, but hey, I got to punch somebody in right now. Well, I'm feeling too good about you. Sean, is... But listen to me, you keep... Okay, I see now. Lance, look at this one. This is fun, this is good. Wait, wait, here goes. This you're gonna love. Where's my car? <laughs> Boy, my neck hurts. <laughs> You're a fat friend of spot. My Mercedes, my new Mercedes. You remind me of my newly de dearly departed wife. Ah, ah. I'm gonna. Uh oh. Get off your fat ass and find out what this thing fits.
morning, Monk. Certain educational advantages to growing up in New York. It's a Walther PPK. It'll blow your head off. Well, in that case, you're pointing it at the wrong guy, because it belongs to him. Hand it over, Slim. Come on. I thought you killed them. I thought we killed them. You aren't going anywhere. Yeah, we are. Oh. With her. Come on! Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Hey, 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 hey,
gonna get away with this. <laughs> oh, I'm always the optimist. We're running a little late, folks, so if everybody just sit down and relax. You notice below us the beautiful sea coast of Pedraza. Uh. Shut up. Well, thanks again for clearing up this whole Mrs. Kent business. I hope it didn't spoil your honeymoon too no, much. No, just like the brochure said. Boating. Swimming. Yeah, nature hikes, deep sea diving. The only part they left out was the shooting and the killing. We hate to lose you. Sure you will reconsider that resignation. Positive. Positive. Such a pity. Such a fine career. Oh, well, thanks again. Wait. That's it? Thanks again is it? That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Pal, I have no, 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 no. Here. For you.
Honey, could you ask them to bring down the hotel room? Because I'm, I'm just too tired to move. I just had a thought. What? Well, if Mrs. Kent did all this on her own, and the State Department knew nothing about this, who the hell is going to pay for our room? Oh. You're the McDonald's, right? Right. Oh, thank goodness. I've been lugging this thing around looking for you. I wouldn't leave it with the hotel. <laughs> they haven't found my luggage yet. Holy moly.